Now, we have stumbled in the course of that inquiry on to what I regard as the major law in cybernetics. And I'll write the name of the discoverer, and I would very much like you to remember this out of today, if nothing else. Has anybody ever heard of that before? Yes, good. But it's a small minority. <laughs> <laughs> you see, what this is saying is that only variety can absorb variety. You must have requisite variety. You've just seen me creating that situation on the blackboard. We have just been organizing Ashby's Law in front of our eyes. Now, the point about the, it being called a law is that it will exert itself. Laws, laws of nature, I hate the term, but never mind, it, it's shorthand. Laws of nature work because they are always operative and you can't stop them. I can't stop this chalk disobeying the law of, from obeying the law of gravity if I leave go of it. So Ashby's law will always come out. And the way it comes out is in chaos, very often. If you imagine some policeman trying to direct the traffic, you know, by waving his arms about, and there's much traffic, and some of it's round the corner and he can't see it, he hasn't got requisite variety. So you get a, a gridlock, you get a traffic jam. Because Ashby's law will, will abs by Ashby's law, the situation will absorb the variety one way or another. If you've got an efficient signaling system, you can absorb the variety of the traffic by clever signaling, by switching this lane on, that lane on. It's what we do. But if you don't have an efficient si switching system, if the policeman cannot absorb the variety, the variety is, is, is absorbed by this law in stationary behavior. You stop. So that's a very simple example. Another very simple example, and far more serious, is how do finance ministers try and run the economy? You know, think about it for a minute. They try to control the money supply if they belong to Milton Friedman. If they try and work through controlling interest rates, and that's about it. Do you seriously think that has requisite variety? So how does Ashby's law come out in that case? It comes out, whatever provisions you make in a reductionist sense in the Finance Act for taxation purposes, you will find that the, the business public with its lawyers and its accountants and so forth has much more variety than you can put into the law. And it goes like that, because the requisite variety will, will turn up. So it suggests straight away that, I mean, I have, I've watched this process all my life, the Finance Act amendments and amendments as people try to stop the holes that people are ducking through. And the result is that, that, that now you need the requisite variety is put into the situation by the total professions devoted to the law of taxation and the taxation accounting and so forth, which is putting variety back, isn't it? Because if, if, you are, if you have complex affairs, as an individual even, you are going to have to pay someone to file your tax return because the law is so difficult that you can't deal with it because you're doing something else. It's not necessarily that you couldn't, but you cannot devote your life to paying your taxes. Otherwise, you wouldn't have any taxes to pay. <laughs> so I, I, I'm hoping to excite you about this notion. If you think of any situation, you, you practice you know, on your own, and say, my God, that doesn't work because of Ashby's law. Or we are trying to make it work with a regulatory system that that doesn't embody Ashby's law. Then you suddenly start clicking and you say, wow, no wonder we've got this wrong. 
Now, one of the ways that Ashby's law was dealt with in society was by oppression. You know, if, it, if it's illegal to do something, and by illegal I don't just mean that you can disobey the law and get away with it, I mean you get thrown into jail or shot. If you're in that kind of regime, then that is Ashby's law working, as I said earlier, with amplifiers on this loop. But if you release that, and that's what's happening in the world, getting away from tyranny, away from dictatorship, and into independence, what you are going to have is a boiling mass of variety being churned up, which we've never experienced before, and we do not know how to regulate it. That's why I began by saying we were in, in a pretty serious state 